Hi, I'm Luke with CoreMoto. Yesterday we made a video of all the components that come in a set of wheels. Um, today we're going to make a video of how you will receive the wheels and what you need to do to install them. So your wheel will come to you mostly assembled. Your rear wheel will have all the push drive bushings in place, any oil seals, bearings, distance tubes. Rotor carrier is bolted in. On this model, it's an ABS model. You're gonna remove these three screws. You're gonna put your OEM traction uh, speed sensor ring in place and screw these down with a little bit of uh, blue Loctite. I'll go over that later. You'll receive a fully assembled sprocket carrier with six metal locking sprocket nuts on it. So you're going to need a Kawasaki bolt pattern uh, sprocket for, for any bike. So for example, if you have a 530 chain pitch, you're going to order from any sprocket company a ZX12 sprocket with uh, the appropriate tooth count. Sprocket will go in place. You're going to hand tighten. If I can get them started, the sprocket nut. Now it's a metal locking sprocket nut, so when it comes time to actually tighten it down, you're just going to use a ratchet to get past the the tight portion of the 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 locking mechanism, and then uh, you're just going to tighten it down with the ratchet. If the, for some reason the stud starts to spin, which is not likely. You have an 8 millimeter socket here on the back. You can hold it with an 8 millimeter Allen wrench and then finish tighten it down. We're not going to do that because this is a new, new part going to a customer. All right. So let's uh, put these back on. Try not to drop them. So after you install your sprocket on the sprocket carrier, you're gonna put these components together and ready to mount the wheel. All right, so on this side, this is your drive side, you have a spacer here that goes in between the wheel and the sprocket carrier and be held captive by this oil seal. That'll be detailed in the drawings. This is a really crucial sp uh, spacer. It's, uh, if it's not installed, you're gonna have bearing failure on at least the sprocket carrier and likely inside the wheel. So we just slide these in and then we figure out on the sheet here. So it says spacer six here goes into the sprocket carrier. We have spacer six here. I'm gonna slide that in place. And then we're gonna flip the wheel around. You're gonna bolt your OEM rotor or OEM equivalent rotor. If you have an aftermarket rotor that fit your OEM wheels, it'll fit here as well. And then just slide the other spacer into place and it's ready to mount on the bike. So then we go over to the front wheel here. In most cases, your front wheel is going to be fully assembled. This model does not come with spacers. It's not necessary. Most models will come with uh, oil seals and captive spacers. What you'll need to do on this is you're going to mount your OEM rotors just like the rear. There's no special rotors required for any of our wheels. And uh, we recommend using a blue medium strength Loctite. We use uh, Kimball Midwest uh, gel. You're just going to put just a tiny bit on. You can spread it in there with your fingers and then put your rotor on and tighten it down. So all of our wheels, when we send them out, you're going to notice they have grease inside the, the bearing races and inside the, the actual distance tube. It can be a little messy, but you definitely want to keep these greased. You can actually use more grease if you want. 
but we uh, we we put a liberal amount in there. So, all right. Um, valve stems are pre-installed. We have 90 degree valve stems. Uh, stickers have direction on each side, so that's a rotation direction. And these wheels are dirty. I'm going to go over uh, in another video on how to clean them. But basically, that's it. That's what you get. Thanks.